Three things to announce before we move into it. Sanctuary hit number one and their guild leader is banned. And it's just like Pandemonium and Babel all over again. Uh, Helheim announced PvE to focus on leveling. So they'll be going into a PvE arc starting now to prepare for and throughout the next season to prepare for the following season. And TSL has gone PvE. Um, and that's pretty much the news on the top of my head. Ah, okay. Go ahead, Crazy Fire. <laughs> All right, let's get this show on the road. Ladies and gentle suppers, welcome to the SGL Report, the Seasonal Guild Leaderboard Season 6, where we cover the top 25 guilds across the entire season, broken down into five different tiers. And we give a little commentary, some spicy, some not. Uh, so without further ado, I do want to say, actually... This dashboard that you see right in front of your beautiful eyes is created by Yomu, the co-dev of I Don't Know, game admin of Simple MMO, and just all around amazing individual. He has also a Simple MMO mobile app uh, simulator, essentially, where you could literally just pop out chat only and just have chat open 24-7 and not even touch the game if you really wanted to be a DJ and talking global. Uh, go check it out. Highly recommend. He also ha is working on the Simple Mo Wiki on his free time, and he needs help with that. We've put in announcements for that, so if you, you want to help, go talk to him about that as well. Um, so yeah, without further ado, I literally just refresh this, so hopefully it's all good and up to date. And uh, let's get in the first tier, which is a Celestial tier. Uh, and yeah, a lot of movement in Celestial tier for the first time in a while. Yeah. And first, we have Sanctuary uh, beating out TSL, who is now in second and a PvE guild. Then in the third, we have Factory Reset. The fourth showing even more life and moving into fourth place, which means DPS, Dead Poet Society, the number one PvE guild, uh, is moving down to the fifth place. Uh, so Sanctuary really yeah. grinded out. However, like you said... And I covered also in the WGS, you want to check out that video. Their guild leader has been banned, uh, and based off of rumors, definitely he deserves it. Uh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> but, uh, you know, um, uh, it's interesting to read the comments uh, on his on his profile. It's like, oh, if only did you people like, know. <laughs> yeah. Did you like my LOL? I, my I, LOL? Left, I left a comment on there. <laughs> yeah, I was like, why? I, I started like an LOL fucking yeah. train. <laughs> uh, it felt good, dude, man. No one... I haven't shown the DMs between me and Beazle, but like that dude, whatever, man. Yeah, you know, whatever. Yeah, sometimes uh, yeah, you gotta exactly, remove the cancer. Yeah, it's a, it, even it's if it's exactly hidden. what you would expect. Um, yeah, it, it's exactly how the reaction to it is the same. It's like copy and pasted, unjust, no proof, and it's like you're just like some random dude. Why would mods give you proof? One and yeah. two, the allegations. Some of the things I've seen, it's damaging. It's 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 extremely damaging to the person's character and illegal it's criminal if if you know yeah if it's true yeah uh, absolutely from, from the context you know there, there's not a lot of context from what i've been shown but um you can't just do that you can't just like blast that out to an mmo community and be like good luck bro like that's yeah. called a lawsuit <laughs> yeah uh and it could ruin an investigation if that's required yep. so uh yeah but yeah sanctuary i will give them this i'll give them this credit okay uh, guilds like Babel, Pandemonium, well, I don't know if really Pandemonium counted, but Babel and Sanctuary, those are the two closest. They attract the best of the best players because they want to be number one. They will use their time, their money, their money and time to get there. Um, so, you know, I'm not going to dismiss the, the work they put into it. I will just say, I, I just, I don't understand when these like powerhouses are formed that these players suddenly like once they like cross over and they join the skill they like kind of shed a little bit of their humanity as part of like the deal here i just don't understand that because they complete most of these players like i would call friends and then as soon as they crossed over it was just like complete it was like it was like shutting the window in my face but anyway congrats to sanctuary for being number one you're going through a weird situation i don't know what the future will hold for them. So, but there, there's already comments left on the WGS video. Juan uh, is taking over leadership. I don't know if like they'll be able to transfer the guild leadership over, or if they're just going to be stuck as like a co-lead or something. Uh, but right. they're already stepping up and, and filling the void there. Uh, because like we've seen several times over, when a guild leader you gets banned or leaves, that guild normally dies off. There's only it's a few done. examples where like they consistently yeah. stick around. Um, 
Sanctuary has a lot of top players in the game, so they're like if they really wanted to, they can stick around. They just need that leader that'll be able to guide them through that uh, situation. Yeah. But if Alucard is not going to do that, then I don't see a candidate. I, you know, no disrespect to um, Juan, but I don't see it. Uh, there's a lot of alpha types in that guild, you know what I mean? So, uh, but yeah, so Amelia said in chat, a lot of them have gone to Force, and I expect Force to be, if they remain there, a, a, a contender, because now there's uh, Chaotic Serenity, who's a top tier player of the game. Love the dude, he's awesome. He's in Forest, and then Theorin, who did not come back to Wolfblood, will probably never will, uh, so we should definitely ban him from the Discord, Dagon. Uh, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But seriously, he's Theorin is there now in Forest, so now you have Kin, who's the highest level player in the game, and then you have some serious um, hitters, dedicated players yeah. in the game. So, yeah. Uh, and then to everyone else, I mean, this is probably going to be Celestial. I don't, think D I don't think DPS can be overtaken at this point, so we're le- uh, we're leading into we have like one more week and then we'll do a recap so we actually have like two i think we'll have two more streams covering that shit of this season yeah uh, but this this is probably celestial tier so yep yeah yep and like again they've earned 39 mil which is insane so yeah oh god that's just like dude i can't imagine what that took from you yeah like yeah all right you're, you're not gonna be holding a girl's hand for a while after that you know what i mean legendary All that sweat tier. pouring off your <laughs> jesus christ legendary tier uh um, all the sweat <laughs> get it <laughs> sixth place wolf blood with a change in their logo um that's pretty cool i actually like that that's unique uh seventh place is friendly eighth place still friendly too moving up two positions good on them ninth is the unknown and tenth prostor moving down two positions uh nothing too crazy here Wolfblood could lose seventh, uh, could lose sixth place based off of how friendly works. Uh, so mm -hmm. kick pies while you can, and before it's too uh, late. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I mean uh, that's that's about it. How dare you, dude? Dude, it's I told best. you ever since Theron left, it's been smooth sailing. Okay, <laughs> every every like progress, like he was our obstacle. Like we'd be like, hey man, no pineapple on pizza because we gain X amount of exp more than we would otherwise. And he's like. Freaking give me the pineapple pizza, you stupid. And then, it, you know, two black eyes falling up the stairs. So, uh, I think Wolf would do sixth place. The the head guild of Legendary, that is the place to be for Wolf Blood. I generally believe it. We have some heavy hitters, uh, Dagon, Silver now, uh, who's been back for a while after his failed experiment. Uh, it's just great. It's just great. The core team there, Zildin, and all that stuff, uh, Yukari. Yeah. So, grats, uh, congrats to Wolf Blood. I'm an officer there, and it's basically all because of me. Friendly, don't know which one that is. Friendly too, still don't really know, but they're they like slingshot or they rubber band, I guess you could, yeah, you could say. Yeah. Like in CSGO, you're like you're freaking stuck on the corner. But uh yeah, they rubber band a lot, but they're consistent in the rubber banding, so they're definitely not gonna lose out on legendary. And like you said, they could they could threaten Wolf Blood. I just don't know which one who's in what now still. I just it's so difficult. <laughs> Uh, the unknown at number nine, sweet, and Prosser are falling two positions because of the friendly two move up. Uh, but Prosser again, very stable guild. Um, we'll just have to see. Yep. All right. Let's move on. Let's do a little yeah. boot scoot. Wow, look how exciting this tier is. All right. <laughs> yeah, we can zoom past this one. Trash. Eleventh uh, is Frontier. Twelfth is DGK. Thirteenth uh, is Shadow Garden. Fourteenth is Gladiators, aka Italia. And 15 is Asgard. They're all very close. So there could be something, but there's nothing. So that's cool. Yeah, they're all yeah. and they all equal like the same in earned EXP. So it's like they're it's it's gonna be that way. But yeah. 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 Uh I just so Gladiators always use Italia rebrand. because uh, none of them are Italian. Shocker. Um yeah, I just Frontier doing good. Uh this is Kiwi's guild, I believe, right? Yes. So uh, Kiwi, very active, very new guild leader, already feeling burned out. Uh, hopefully she uh, maintains. <laughs> hopefully she maintains. But shout out to her. This is her first like rodeo, essentially. Um, and then DGK, demo as their leader. You never know what's going to happen. I mean, look how Lucy Goosey is in our stream chat right now. Uh, but good on him. He has literally just been here the whole time, which is not a bad thing to do, you know, to be. Yeah. Shadow Garden, again. Another guild with like an iffy, an iffy future because Shadow is so like Zoomer. He's so finicky 
he like leaves he returns he doesn't want to do pvp anymore like i we don't know we don't know what this guy wants it's just i i feel like sg is is doomed like just lay it to rest respectfully don't delete it and just let it go uh and then asgard is the saddest tale with uh jason like dude J asgard was a top 10 guild that's all i got for him yep all right boring boring tier elite tier now that's what we're talking about. Uh, 16th place, <laughs> MOU, Murderers of the Universe. 17th place, Golden Arrow is moving up two positions. They've really impressed me in the WGS and they continue to impress on the SGL. 18th, moving down one position is Resolve. Heaven and Hell also moving down one position in 19th. And Slums breaking into the elite tier uh, in that 20th place spot. All very close in EXP across the board for this uh, tier. So we can still see more movement. Um... A golden arrows based off of their trajectory could beat out murders of the universe but you know we'll see we'll see yeah i would say keep your eye on for golden arrows that are probably one of the better guilds here now that mou is kind of slowed down slums a wild card i that's all i can say yeah. and really sad to see heaven and hell just kind of falter uh, yeah yeah. Yep. yeah let's move on to rare all right rare tier nothing too PC. crazy he's just continuing to drop down in sgl classic and 21st classic. helheim <laughs> and 22nd zzk zelf zenith kates and 23rd black dragon 24th and eternal flame in 25th being that gatekeeper for the sgl that's about it there yeah. nothing crazy uh, welski's not here to inflate his own ego but <laughs> eternal flame in the sgl good for him and yeah yeah. Everyone else. These are pretty much what you expect. They've been here for a minute. Yeah. All right. So that is the top 25. We're going to quickly go over into the tier two system. This is 26 to 35. These are the guilds who have drifted from the SGL or have been fighting to claim a spot in the SGL as hopefuls. So we have 20 at 26. We have Alpha Omega. 27. We have Brazil Grind BR. 28. We have Wolf. These are all SGL alumni and they have fallen from grace. We have Crimson, uh, Crimson, Crimson Crest at 29 here. Th at 30, Rikim of Lost Souls moving three positions forward. They're one of the newer guilds here down in the dumps. We have Teletubbies dropping because of it, but again, very stable tier two guild with the coolest name <laughs> possible in this game. Dante's yeah. Inferno dropped, Step and Chill dropped, The Cult rising six positions forward. This is another OG guild that has a resurgence. Uh, I kept mixing up mr rose and rosary i'm pretty sure it's rosary, rosary. Right? yeah rosary is the leader here i believe fred has returned to back him up and among other cult members we'll see how long it lasts probably not long and then we had uh mitsugushi mitsugoshi company at 35 and they're probably about to lose and get kicked out here too but that is tier two these are the hopefuls these are some of the newer names um it's kind of stagnant down here uh, yeah recent, <laughs> recent uh updates but that's SGL. Crazy Five, if you want to lead us out, do the outro. Yeah. Uh, so that completes the SGL report for season six. We appreciate you watching. Thanks to everyone in stream who's been watching it, as well as the VOD squad who will be watching it later. Uh, really appreciate all the support, and I hope you enjoyed this update. And that's it. Love you. Love you, VOD squad. Love you, everyone here.